Hello and welcome to the JBM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you for joining me for this video. Um, as we're going to be talking about a guy who the Minnesota Vikings are bringing on, um, and that is former Minnesota State receiver Shane Zelstra. So, yes, yeah, Zelstra was one of the two guys that actually was just recently brought in um, out of Minnesota State. Um, the other one went to the Detroit Lions. Um, he was offensive lineman Evan Heim, who I just did a video about not too long ago. Um, so if you haven't seen it, be sure to check that out. But yeah, so a couple things about this guy. When it comes to his time at Minnesota State, he's the um, career leader in receptions with 227 receptions um, and receiving yards, 4,297 and um, 54 touchdown catches. Yeah, I had to look at that twice. And as a senior, he set the program record with 81 receptions and 18 touchdown receptions for 1,676 yards receiving and was a seven-time All-American, including second-team selection in 2019. So, yeah, that's some crazy um, numbers there. I had to look at that again. It says seven times. <laughs> so, you, yeah, that – yeah, but still. So, um, yeah, he was a senior in 2019, but just like his co-partner Evans, they was both unable to have a pro day due to the effect of COVID-19. And therefore, they ended up, you know, pretty much for the 2020 draft, not being able to showcase their skill sets. And obviously, when you're playing at a school like Minnesota State, I mean, it's just not a school that has a lot of um, traditional athletes come out and get drafted. So therefore, they don't have a lot of you know, they, there's just the level of competition they play. Um, it's just not enough for the scouts to just go off of that tape alone. They want to see these prospects in person and see if you really have what it takes in their mind to translate that to the next level. But I'm happy to see that these guys are getting an opportunity. Um, and for Shane, yet he's going to definitely be going to a team that has a lot of receivers already. Now, I will say that. But it's still an opportunity you know, one, you never know who's a coordinator this year, might become a head coach next year or get a, you know, position coach, coordinator elsewhere or just, you know, never know how that ends out. But really, you're just auditioning for every team in the NFL. And then hopefully you impress someone enough to where you end up, you know, on a private squad, on a roster, on a roster somewhere, just something that keeps you in position to stay in the league and continue to perfect your craft. So that's really um, something. But he's definitely had one heck of a career at Minnesota State. That is for sure. Setting all kind of records. So, yeah, we will see um, how that translates for him at the next level. I'm excited to see how that plays out for him. Um, so I, I know I said it a lot in, in all of my videos. But, I mean, these are the kind of guys that you're looking to see, especially when it comes preseason. Uh, we all know that those, you know, the big-time veterans, they're going to be either playing limited or just not playing at all. Um, but this is what it's really about for these guys to really show, like, hey, I deserve to be on the NFL roster. Why not me? So you never know who's going to rise to the occasion. That's the fun part about sports. Um, but, hey, you guys already know that. That's why you're tuning in for this video. <laughs> um, so thanks again for watching, and have a great rest of your day.